Kyle the Cowboy from the Army Getting Watchtower channel. Welcome to Stockwave. I'm still reporting on the coup. It's becoming increasingly clear that the entire Trump-Russia accusation was cooked up inside the White House as a way to smear Trump before his election, but also serve as a smoke and mirrors cover for the massive amount of collusion with the Russians on the part of Clinton-Obama. The Clinton-Obama gang was surprised by the Trump victory and caught flat-footed. All they had was this pathetic steel dossier to try to dress up and sell to the public. Ultimately, it hasn't worked, but as an example of just how desperate the Dems are, having nothing else, they still try to cling to the dossier. But the Steele dossier is inherently such a weak hand to play, it's hard to believe that not only intelligence, but political professionals would place so much dependence on it. Surely there must be something to it. I think that's what's on the minds of a lot of moderate Democrats who just can't bring themselves to believe that the whole thing is a total fraud and propaganda charade operation against a now sitting president. Worst of all, the entire MSM is in on it, and that means the average Dem has to come to believe that they've been lied to on a massive scale. Not an easy U-turn for a lifelong Dem to make. Tucker Carlson graded the document's amateurish assertions. Now, of course, we've talked a lot about the dossier on this program, but relatively little about what is in it. What does the dossier actually claim? Is any of it true? After more than a year of probing by politicians and intelligence agencies and journalists, here's the sum total of what we actually know about the document that started all of this. We know the dossier was compiled by Christopher Steele, acting as a contractor of Fusion GPS with funds supplied by the Hillary Clinton campaign and the DNC. The dossier was a form of opposition research designed to be used against Trump in the presidential campaign. It was not an intelligence document, it was oppo. The dossier claims that Russian authorities didn't simply collude with Trump during the 2016 election, the charge you hear a lot about. It also claims that Russian intelligence cultivated Donald Trump as a kind of asset, a kind of one-man sleeper cell for more than five years. You say there's no evidence of that. The dossier also claims the Kremlin fed the Trump team intel reports on Hillary Clinton and other political opponents for years. There's no proof of that either. It claims Trump was favored by Moscow with lucrative Russian real estate deals as part of his cultivation as a political asset, that sleeper cell. No proof there either. According to the dossier, Trump and Russia were exchanging intelligence with each other for at least eight years. No proof of that. The dossier goes on to describe a clandestine meeting in Prague between Trump lawyer Michael Cohen and a Kremlin representative, supposedly that took place in August of 2016. This is one of the very few claims in the dossier that has been conclusively checked, and it's false. Cohen wasn't even outside the U.S. at the time the meeting supposedly took place. In sum, the Steele dossier is absurd. The closer you read it, the more absurd it is. Take 10 minutes and do so yourself. It's online. And as you read it, ask yourself, who would believe something like this? It's so transparently partisan and unlikely and stupid and flimsy. It reads like a parody of a badly written spy novel. At the same time he was firing people on The Apprentice, Donald Trump was working with Vladimir Putin to subvert America? It's hard even to say that with a straight face. It's that stupid. And yet keep in mind and never forget, this is the document the FBI used to justify spying on American citizens. These are the claims that Democrats in Congress repeatedly cited as the reason to stop the normal functioning of government in order to investigate the administration. This is the famous dossier that even today, progressives in the media are spending millions in an attempt to corroborate. And it's all a stupid joke. Amazingly, a lot of people in power fell for it.